Cliff Smith and welcome to lesson four in my series of Blues Licks lessons. Now there is some tab and a free backing track for this lesson available to download on my website. They're both free. If you check the comments section of this video, you'll find a link and you can go to my website and download them there. Okay, so this lick, we're well, gonna call this the Clapton lick because I nicked it from Eric Clapton. Probably changed it a little bit over the years, but it's where I found it, one of his solos. Okay, so this one works well as a static lick, uh, which means you can play it over all three chords of the blues. We're playing over blues in E here. The chords are E7, A7, and B7, and the lick works over all three of those chords. There's a little variation we can do in it as well over the B7 chord, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so this lick is in triplets, which means there are three notes per beat. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. It's exactly one bar long starting on beat one, third finger on the seventh fret of the E string, second finger on the sixth fret of the E string, first finger on the fifth fret of the E string, runs down chromatically. Chromatically means moving one fret at a time or one semitone at a time. Then we're gonna bend up on the eighth fret of the B string, small bend, quarter tone bend or blues bend, just a very small bend. Then the fifth fret of the E string again, then that small bend again on the eighth fret of the B string. So that's the first two sets of three, or two, two beats, or two triplets. One, two, three. And I'd count one triplet, two triplet. Next beat is first finger on the fifth fret of the B string, second finger on the sixth fret of the G string, first finger back on the fifth fret of the B string. So you get this little lick. So, so far. And then for the fourth beat, we're gonna repeat that last lick. We're gonna go fifth fret, B string, sixth fret, G string, fifth fret, B string again. So I'm playing that twice. Whole lick now. I'm going to play that and repeat it. Play it really slowly now. And again. Okay, now you can use that lick over all three of the chords in this blues. You can play it over the E7, over the A7, and over the B7. It's a little variation you can do. You walk for two variations you can do. Firstly, you can take that up 12 frets. Instead of starting on the seventh fret, B, you start on the 19th fret, B. Exactly the same fingering, just add 12 to everything. Everything moves up 12 frets. So we're playing the same lick, same notes, one octave higher. And that's gonna work over all three of the chords as well. Over the B chord, there's, there's another variation we can do. Basically, we move up. Instead of starting on the seventh fret, we're gonna start on the ninth fret, basically two frets up from what, what we've just done. And we could do the same finger shape. And that works really nicely over the B chord. Okay, it's leading down to it's my B note there. But you can only use that one over the B chord. It was not going to work over the E7, it's not going to work over the A7, it's going to work really nicely over the B7. So, oh, in this blues, over the E chord you can play this lick. Over the A chord you can play this lick. Over the B chord you can play this lick or the same lick two frets higher. And the octave variation that starts on the 19th fret can be played over any chord in this blues. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how you can use this lick in conjunction with some of the other licks from this series to make up your own guitar solo. Mm -hmm. 